Happy Wednesday, year one. Um, today we are going to find number bonds to 20. But before we do that, we've got to do our first, our starter. So today we are going to recap on those um, what sentence problems that we had before. So we've got 12 plus something equals something. Have a look at what's left out. So first, then, and now. Do the same for the jars here. So press pause, have a go. Okay, let's see if we can work it out together now. So we've got um, 12, let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we know we've got 12 in fact. Same with the then column. Then we're going to count them here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I've got 12 plus 6. Okay, equals. Then I can count them all. Or I could do that thing that I did yesterday was have 12 in my head and count on. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. Then if you wanted to check it, what you could do is you could go back and count them all in the now section here. Okay. Let's have a go at the next one. So it says there's nine in here, two, four, six, eight, nine. Then I need to add the yellow ones on. So again, let's just count them. One, two, three, four, five. So you would write nine plus five equals, now you can count them, but the other way is to count on, correct? So let's have nine in our heads. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and to double check, you could again count what is in the uh, jar. So well done if you've got those. So today we are looking at um, finding number bonds to 20. So we're going to work on number bonds to 20 because tomorrow everything we do will be within 20. Okay, and we'll be seeing how we can find them. So to do this, Okay, you need you need to do something. So, what you need to do is you need to go and collect twenty items. Now, at school, we would obviously have counters or little uh, dinosaur or little teddies to help us use for our counting. We would also have the base ten, the numicon, lots of different things. But what you need to do is go and collect twenty items and bring them back. You might have kept them aside from yesterday. Okay, so press pause. Off you go. Okay, now you've got those items. I want you to try and work out these questions. Okay, so I know that this is 10, 11, 12, 13. So I know I've got 13 here. And if I counted on from 13, I would have 14. Let me do it in a different color, shall I? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 13 plus seven equals, what's this? 20, 10, 20, okay? Another way you can work this out is you know your number bonds to 10, three, you already know that three, oh dear, plus seven equals 10, okay? So you would also know, that 13 plus um, 7 equals 20, or 3 plus 17 equals 20. So this is why we focus on our number bond so much, because it can help us with all our maths, okay? Because it would be the same if it was uh, 33 add 7 equals 40. We know that because 3 plus 7 is 10, okay? So now's your opportunity, press pause, have a go at these questions. Okay, so you should have 10 plus 10 equals 20. Now you would have probably written it if you did it properly. It's like oh, this, okay? This is what yours would look like. Okay, so you know you've got, let's move on to the next one. We've got 18 here. Okay, fill in those missing bits, plus two equals 20. Just double check you have done it. Okay, 
here we can see we've got 19, okay, plus one equals 20. So you should have managed to do that. Okay, and then here you can see we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you would have, okay, 17 equals 20. So what needs to come before? That's right, three plus 17. So well done if you've managed to do those. Okay, this is a bit of a whistle, a whistle. Oh, this is a bit of a quick. Um, go at these number bonds to 10 because when you finish the lesson, you can always go and make some of your own up. Okay, so now we've got a bar model. We've used these before where we have known that this is 18. Okay, and then we have counted on. So we've got 18, 19, 20. So 18 plus 2 equals 20. So we now have got 20 in total, one there, so the rest must be 19. So 20 plus one equals 20. 19 plus one equals 20, sorry. Then here, I know I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, sorry, 14 plus something equals 20. Now, if you did four plus something equals 10, you would know that it's six. So 14 plus six must equal 20. Make sure you use your number bonds to 10 to help you. Have a go at these questions and then we'll go through. Press pause now. Okay, so well done for doing those. It is 10 plus 10 equals 20, correct? And we know we've got three there. And seven and three make 10. Okay, so 17 and three make 20. So well done if you've managed to do those and you have used your resources successfully. Okay, this question says, there are 20 sausages in a packet. I cook some of the sausages in a frying pan. There are 17 sausages left in the pack. How many sausages did I cook? Okay, so this is another bar model. Okay, and we know that 17 are here. How many is here? Okay, so press pause and have a go at that question. You could do it 20 minus 17 equals, or you could do 17 plus something equals 20. Okay, so lots of different ways you can work that out. You could have drawn a whole part model. Okay, so we know that 17 plus three equals 20. Okay, so there we go. I have 20 jelly beans. I eat four. How many do I have left? I've eaten four, so I could do my 20, could do my subtraction question. Uh, 20 minus four equals. Okay, so I could do that, or I could do four plus something equals 20. Have a look. Okay, that's right. It's 16. Okay. So well done for working that out using your resources at home. Right. Now we're looking at some fact families. Okay, so it says here, I have 20 buttons. So let's just check two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So I've got 20 buttons. One is green and 19 are pink. So I would like you to write these as a number sentence. So I know I've got one plus 19 equals 20. Okay. I could even have 19 plus one equals 20. Okay. Okay, now I need my answer first. So 20 that is my answer because that is my total amount. So 20 plus one, uh, e sorry, 20 equals one plus 19. 
or I could have 20 plus 19, uh, 20 equals, I apologize, 20 equals 19 plus one. If you really wanted to stretch yourself, okay, try and think of a subtraction, okay, that you can think of. So I would have 20 minus something equals something. Now only use the numbers in the question. Okay, so that's right, 20 minus 19. Uh, equals one, okay? So I could have it the other way, 20 minus one equals 19. So lots of different ways, okay? So here are some of your questions. These are your last questions to do. So press pause and have a go at them. Okay, off you go. Right, once you have done these, these are the things that I would like you to send in. And then I want you to do is write your own sentences OK, so your own questions. So if you were using cars at home, line them up in this way. OK, and then underneath the cars, write a sentence on a piece of paper asking the question. So there are 20 cars. OK, four cars are blue, 16 are red. OK, so that's what I want you to write. Or you could word it in a different way. I have 20 cars in the car park. Two of the cars are red and six, uh, two of the cars are red and 18 of them are blue. Okay, so I just want you to write using your words, a worded question. Now, if I really, if I would be honest, I would like you to write the word, the numbers in words. So I'd write, I'll do it on the next slide. I would like you to write, I have, uh, or there are, 20 cars in the car park, we'll stop. Four of them are blue and six, six, teen, 16 of them are red. Okay, so that's the type of sentences I want under your, um, under your pictures. So I hope you have fun doing that, exploring different number bonds to 20. Uh, use all the resources you can and try and stretch yourself a bit further, maybe add some subtraction or writing your uh, numbers in words. So well done everybody. I um, hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon.